questions we didn't manage to get to. Um, we're now going to move on to concluding remarks by Ambassador Stuart Eisenstadt. Thank you. I want to first say that this dialogue initiated uh, by JPPI under the leadership of Shlomo and John uh, underscores the important role that the Jewish People's Policy Institute plays uh, in focusing on Israel diaspora relations. There are hardly any other uh, groups outside of the Israeli government that are doing so. So call a vote and congratulations. Uh, a couple of points. Uh, there is clearly a disturbing distance of uh, young American Jews from Israel for two reasons. One is a political divide between a generally left of center American jury particularly those who are young, college age, uh, over a whole variety of issues, Palestinian issues, feeling of second class treatment of reform and, uh, and conservative Jews by the Orthodox uh, rabbinate, of the uh, collapse of the long negotiated Natan Sharansky agreement on the wall and many other issues. Uh, second, and this is something that's not mentioned in the report, uh, nor in the recommendations. And that is part of the reason, I believe a significant reason for the distancing is because of a distancing by diaspora Jews from Judaism itself. Uh, intermarriage rates, uh, according to recent Pew studies, uh, by non-Orthodox were approaching 70% with very low conversion rates by the non-Jews. And this lack of identification by younger Jews, particularly more liberal reform and even conservative Jews uh, is, uh, is very revealing. And is, I think if you, if you don't identify with Judaism to begin with, you're not gonna identify with Israel. Uh, next, we are in fact moving as the report indicates uh, and as Yadida's uh, summary indicates from this uh, mono a phonic relationship to a polyphonic relationship. And we should all engage in that process, recognizing that we're not trying necessarily to change opinions, but to have people understand that despite the differences, that we are one people. Uh, I mean, I have grave differences uh, with uh, uh, during the Trump presidency with uh, the Trump policy, but that didn't make me any less loyal to the United States. And so we have to have a mindset that because we may disagree with Israeli policy, it doesn't mean we shouldn't identify with Israel as a Jewish state and with the Israeli people. Uh, next is the issue of funding. Uh, I think it's terrific that Minister Shai uh, is participating. Uh, it would have been great to have him involved uh, earlier, but the fact that he is heading a Ministry of Diaspora Affairs is itself a step forward. His statement that the Ministry of Education is not as enthusiastic as he is about uh, diaspora education is a concern, but it simply means that we have to do more to elevate its importance. Now, with respect to funding of Jewish education, uh, there are two aspects that the uh, KPPI study makes. One is more funding for diaspora education within Jewish schools in Israel. And the minister identified that as a need, something that he's trying to get more funding for. He mentioned 1,500 schools that are being covered. And that's, that's terrific. Uh, it's at least something to build on. However, one of the barriers to Jewish uh, education, and I say this as one whose two kids went to Jewish day school, is the extraordinarily high cost of Jewish education. It turns off many Jewish parents who would like to send their kids to Jewish schools or even to Jewish camps. Uh, so to the extent that Israeli government money can be used to lower those costs, to subsidize uh, the uh, cost of Jewish education and day school education would be a tremendous step forward in encouraging more Jewish studies and more Jewish identification, which will lead uh, in and of itself, to greater identification with the state of uh, Israel. So I, again, I think that uh, this is a very good start. The report is a very good start. 
uh, the broader issue that I've raised of a lack of Jewish identification uh, is something beyond this report itself, but it is, uh, I think, at the core of one of the reasons why we have a lack of identification by young people with Israel. Close it. 